Hi, my name is Steve House, and I work for Siemens Process Instrumentation and today we're going to be looking at the Somatic PDM Process Device Manager and the Extended License. In previous blogs we've looked at the single tag and the basic and service license. So the extended license is um, a bolt-on or an upgrade license that you can add to the basic or service licenses. Hopefully you can remember that we can't upgrade any of the functionality on the single tag. So if we have a look at uh, one of our previous slides, if you've watched our previous uh, blogs, this is the service license that comes with the um, basic license and an additional 50 tags, so 54 tags in all. And these are the bolt-on licenses that you can purchase. And today we're going to be looking at the extended license. So this can be purchased after and added to the original license at a later date if you want to spread the costs. So the first thing that we get with the extended license is a real nice function called the change log. So this works really well if you've got a PC integrated on site. Um, so you have multiple uh, maintenance engineers who are logging on and doing work. So everything is logged. So you're not having to start the fault finding process off again. You can go to the change log and have a look what the last engineer did and um, get to the fault a lot quicker. Um, also, if you've got to follow certain standards that prove that you haven't tampered with the instrument, that's where the, the change log is quite good. As the next part is the calibration log. So rather than having a uh, separate tool for, for logging your calibration results and creating a document, you can do that within PDM. So it pulls all your diagnostics, instrumentation parameters, and all of your recorded uh, calibration values into one report. So you're not having to search in different databases for you know, different reports. As an extension to that, once you've finished writing the report, you can add your next service or calibration interval. So when you refresh the diagnostics on uh, PDM, it will see that it's expired uh, on this date and time, and it will come up with an alarm. And there's two views that you can see here. This is your standard PDM diagnostic view, where it will tell you that um, your, your maintenance timer or service time has expired and if it's integrated into maintenance station you don't have to um, refresh the diagnostics maintenance station will do that for you so it's constantly scanning and uh, it will update you on, on this alarm so that's the difference between the two we'll touch on maintenance station in future blogs a real powerful tool of the uh, extended license is bulk transfer so if you have a, uh, a tank farm and you've got a volume curve and you've got 10 ident identical tanks you've proven the volume curve on the first tank it may have 32 break points it may have 10 it may have 20 um, that's quite a, a lengthy exercise to put that into the other nine level devices so part of the extended license you can right click your parameter on this example it's degrees Celsius and then um, I do a bulk distribution of that parameter to all of the instruments that are the same on your plant so things like fail safe levels um, volume curves can be trans transferred from one device to multiple devices so it really reduces your configuration time for, for larger projects so what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at, at these in, in real life on my demo rig so you can get a feel for, for what they look like in the real world. So here we have a uh, small project 
and we've seen this before on a previous blog so compact field unit which is Profinet Profibus PA and then ET200 SP uh, which is Profinet to different option cards and this one is a heart input card so it allows us heart pass through so the first thing we're going to have a look at that the extended license gives us is the documentation manager so if we go to object properties I can see here now I have the additional tab documentation manager so I can have up to 10 documents added per device so this could be drawings it could be like PIDs um, uh, uh, service manuals calibration certificates material certs all of this can be put under this documentation manager so when somebody opens up PDM they can start referring to these additional documents as well so if we delve into PDM we can see our parameter lists now we'll start to see some of the functionality that was disabled is now back so the print functionality I can print I can do file exports including my documentation manager now and my change log is available I haven't made any changes on this or I haven't enabled the change log for that device and then I have my calibration log so when my calibration log opens up under here I can see the diagnostic state I can update the diagnostic state of, of that instrument from here as well so you really shouldn't be calibrating an instrument with a fault on so I can see that this device is okay then this is where I put my results so this may be a thermal bath for instance and, and then I have my measured values and I can put my acceptable site tolerance in here any attachments and I have a calibration certificate for the um, thermal bath and any comments here I might have had to adjust something to bring it within calibration when I've finished all of that I can then say I'm going to set my next calibration or service interval pull up my calendar and take it to October next year okay and then I can save that when I've generated my report I can push these out to a, a log report generator so this saves the report as, as an XML so cloud-based apps can access it or I can just open it via other tools such as Word or, or Excel so another nice tool is the value comparison tool it's now available so what this allows me to do if I think there's been a parameter change out in the field so somebody's used the push buttons on the instrument these are my parameters here for this temperature transmitter I've got safe last time I used it so I'm going to apply I'm going to check my online data with my current uh, open object and what this will do is it will go away and it will read the parameters of the device and compare them to the ones I've got on the screen at present and when they're loaded I'll be able to see any that are different so now they've finished uploading I click on OK <coughs> pardon me and I'll see any parameters that are different so these here are, what are on the device out in the field and compared to my parameters when I last went on I can see a few differences here um, with the one that really worries me is my sensor factor where this is a multiplier and it was 10 and now it's 1 so this is a real useful tool um, to get again to, to get to those issues where human intervention has caused us a problem I can see here as well my status 
is also showing me that a parameter has changed. So this, that's what this green exclamation mark, this functionality is supported by Heart and Profibus and Profinet devices. So that concludes the look at the PDM extended license. As you can see, it's a, a really powerful option to, to add to your basic or service licenses, giving you some really good functionality for those larger projects. So I hope it was useful. Um, on the next blog, we're going to be looking at the PDM server and client licenses.